Hi, I'm Sylvan from the Computer Vision and Geometry Lab at ETH Zurich and I will present Rooted Fusion. Rooted Fusion is a learned real-time capable depth map fusion method that leverages machine learning to fuse noisy and outlier contaminated depth maps. This method allows for real-time processing and is therefore applicable to many domains and use cases where runtime efficiency is a key constraint, such as robotics or augmented and mixed reality. We categorize approaches for 3D reconstruction from depth maps into four categories. Online handcrafted methods are the industry working horse in many applications. However, they suffer from a Gaussian noise assumption, a lack of outlier handling, as well as surface thickening effects. Global handcrafted methods can produce impressive results. Nevertheless, they are usually slow and it's hard to integrate new measurements. More recently, several works propose to leverage machine learning for this task. However, all methods are prone to overfitting to the training data. Moreover, they are by design not applicable to an online fusion process and mostly restricted to scenes in the UniQ. So far, no online learning-based method has been proposed. Our work aims to fill this gap. In Rooted Fusion, we propose a method that leverages machine learning for real-time depth map fusion. In summary, our key contributions are We propose a learning-based real-time depth map fusion pipeline. The proposed pipeline consists of a split network architecture for improved noise and outlier handling. Furthermore, our networks are compact and therefore not prone to overfitting. Here you see an overview of our results. Our method does not show any overfitting and generalizes well to test scenes. Furthermore, our method better handles noise than standard TSDF fusion. The proposed pipeline iteratively updates local neighborhoods of the global scene given new measurements. It consists of four key stages. Two of these stages are using machine learning. The first stage takes a noisy and outlier contaminated depth map as input and estimates a denoise and corrected depth map together with a confidence map. The corrected depth map is used to extract the current local state from the global TSDF grid. The extracted local state is concatenated with the extracted voxel weights as well as with the depth map and the confidence map. This data is then passed through the depth fusion network. The depth fusion network estimates optimal updates given the new measurements and the old state of the TSDF grid. The estimated updates are integrated back into the global TSDF grid using the standard TSDF update equation. We train this pipeline on synthetic data that is augmented with an artificial depth dependent noise distribution. Although the entire pipeline is trained on very little training data, it generalizes not only to any shape from the synthetic data set, but also to real world data. As shown before, our method compares favorably to all other existing depth fusion methods. This can not only be seen qualitatively, but is also depicted in a quantitative evaluation on the synthetic ShapeNet dataset. In order to show the benefit of our routing network, we analyze the effect of higher noise levels on the performance. There, it can be seen that our method can significantly better handle higher noise levels due to the robustness introduced by the routing network. Our method trained on synthetic data also generalizes to real world data. In this scene, we show that our method compares favorably to standard TSDF fusion in fusing noisy Kinect data. Especially, noise artifacts on edges and corners are removed. In summary, we propose a learning-based method for improved noise and outlier handling. In this way, we show that neural networks can be effectively used for real-time 3D reconstruction while avoiding overfitting the training data. Furthermore, our pipeline is extremely compact. This allows for easy transfer to new sensors since it only needs very little training data for retraining. Thank you very much. For more details, please see our project webpage.